Welcome back to Extra Life 2020 Layers of Fear Edition. Wow, that music is awfully loud. Let me turn it down for just a bit here whilst I <laughs> uh, say welcome to the stream again. Um, it is now 7.30 a.m., so we're in the right smack dab in the middle of my 20th hour uh, of this 24-hour marathon. We're getting close to the end. And um, <clears throat> we're going to just, uh, instead of going back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I figure let's do some Layers of Fear. Just cause. I didn't really feel like going back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider right now. I just don't feel like it. Period. That's all. So let's do this instead. Um, and, you know, it's not the best time for it. It's best to do that, you know, late at night. But we, did, we didn't. So here we are. <laughs> Alright, let's crank it back up. And let's get back into it here. Let me make sure that... Um, it's uh, scaled right on my screen and all that. Kind of looks like it is. So let's drop it in like that there and lock it down. And so there we are. And we'll continue onward here as soon as I can get my. Oh, load. As soon as I can hit load. And we will continue the game. Yeah, that's how far we've gotten so far. We finished the first, the prologue and the first chapter. Um, let me, whoops, let me hop out for just a moment here so that I can bring up the, uh, well, the layers of fear. Uh, <laughs> Walker, I want to make sure that I get everything, you know, just, just everything, if possible. So, yeah, okay, let me bring it back up and continue. Yeah. So we've already looked at these things. As far as I know, we've done everything that we need to here. Yep, here we go again with this good old stuff. Spooky spookiness. And yep, we are kind of stuck going to the elevator. We better close it, huh? Or, or not. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Now it's closed. Uh, we're going to go up or down or what? Oh, guess we're going up. Yeah. Up. Who knew this old house had an elevator, right? Catches on, I think that's it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I guess we're stopping off here. Goodness gracious me. Locked. That's got nothing in it. That's locked. That's locked. Uh, you got nothing. Okay. Okay, so I turn around and something's going to happen, right? OK, 
Okay, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's open. Must we go in there? I guess we must. <clears throat> You're gonna close automatically. Oh, hey, there's something. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you're upset and have n and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and he inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we've done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think that writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under... A lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me be, make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information of several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. That's a William. William. Excuse me, a very well written letter. I cannot talk today. Bad time for me to have this bout of crap going on. I just can't talk. Okay, well, all right. Oh, nope, this is not the room that I entered a moment ago. You really want me to go in that door, I think. Okay, yeah, we need to go in here first. Something back here? Yeah. The piano playing is coming right from there. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Now we'll go through the store that we unlocked over here. Yep, and of course they're locked. Definitely hallway simulator. Oh. That's a lot of books. We'll go ahead and close that up. Thank you. Appreciate you. Clothes. Okay. Going up to the attic, apparently. Okay. 
Well, everyone ready for a jump scare? Because you know that's what we're having here. Yeah. That can stay closed. Search press? No, that's fresh. It's okay. No, nothing in this drawer. But up here. Warning signs. The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist, psychiatrist. Blank expression, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Usual gestures, unusual gestures, excuse me, or postures, always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely! Exclamation point. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? Question mark, exclamation point. Awkward, clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger and resentment. More passive aggressive. Lack of motivation. Yes. Suicidal tendencies. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Ooh. Okay. Well, here we are in the junction. Which way should we go? Straight forward. Okay. I guess we'll have a chance to check out the other rooms later. I suppose, right? Make up your mind, it says, and turn on the light. Hmm. All right, well, we can't jump or anything in this, so let's go straight forward. Yep, books again. All right. So again with the deer head on the wall. We want to turn on the lights. Why would we not turn on the lights? Spin the globe. Why would we not spin the globe? Come on. Nope, nothing in there. Lone candle on the floor. These drawers, all right, fine. So it just exploded behind us there. 
Alright, alright, we'll go back in. I missed that, but that's okay. I still can't fiddle with these drawers. Sixty-five. Perhaps that's the code for this fireplace. Forty, sixty, fifty, I guess. key. So I guess we're going back out into this hall and using it maybe. We'll find out. Okay, it actually does open up normally. Oh, that's a key one. All right. Do we want to go in there, though? Can't remember. I just don't want to get caught. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Twenty-six. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play. Oops, here we go. Play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing, I won't lie. It drives me insane to not have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well, but how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. God, please, not this again. Yeah, again. By the way, and yes, you can tell the handwriting is very much. Uh, not as elegant as it used to be. Okay, now I guess we can go through here. Yep, see, because it goes on us. Because, of course, it does. That's what these things do, right? Nothing there. Nothing there. I think there's anything there either. And finally, yeah, just some shirts in there. Okay. it's locked. Oh yes, this room, if I remember correctly. Um, okay. Can't 
bitches. Can't do anything with them. And yep, locked in here. Puppy! said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Well, she didn't like the fact that she got a dog instead of a cat. So FYI, don't ever do that again. Not that you will have any kind of a chance to do so. You want this as well? Makes you think that I do. Oh, there's something. Once great artist, Blumson's new painting left out of galleries. What we witness today, while entirely worthless in artistic terms, might be an invaluable case study for psychologists. These harsh words came from none other than Jason Hughes. Famed critic was one of the first to appreciate the works of and one much praise. Yeah. Where the, the who whose praise once contributed to his first spectacular success. When asked if such brutal criticism was indeed called for, especially in light of the recent tragic events, Hughes responded, "As critics, it is our duty to critique, critique art, but not to judge the artist. The man has been through a lot lately, and obviously, it has taken its toll on him. Still, if we were to remain silent and pretend this." It, is even remotely acceptable we would be doing the artist a disservice other critics were only slightly more lenient as the blah 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 okay jump scare attack yep Oh, another dog hallway. And yep, it's closed immediately. Every time that hand pops up, it, it, it like immediately disappears. There we go. It's 
the same thing every time. Do we have to go all the way up to it? I guess we do. Oh, jeez! <sighs> Alright. Both of these lead to the same location. Yep, sure enough they do. Have to be open when it closes the other. <laughs> September 12th, uh, she's been at it again. Earlier in the day, I found more of her reviews. Little notes stuck to one of my latest paintings. Some of the most scathing, hateful shit I've ever read about my work. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she knows me well enough to know what it really gets to me. I just can't believe she would use that against me. Worst thing is, when I confronted her about it, she claimed she hadn't written any of them. Like I can't tell her handwriting. Jesus, does she really hate me that much, or is her mind starting to slip? I just don't know what to do anymore. Shadows moving are really uh, creepy. Is there not a third? I guess there isn't a third drawer down there. Kind of looks like there is, but I can't uh, target it, so whatever. Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. I don't, but yeah, okay. Can locked. Stuff there, stuff there. Don't think there's anything here we can deal with. So that's fine. That's locked. has opened up. Well, just slam that open, huh? Yes, please, let's uh let's do do indeed um open that up. Oh, hello. here. Go away. Just go away. Oh, the walls are changing.
Okay. Uh, April 6th. Found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him to, but god damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. Okay. I have a key. Oh, I keep forgetting about the zoom in capability there. Paint. Interesting. Oh, that takes a key. Oh. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Right, okay. Is this door, I guess, still locked? And our key won't uh, open it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we have to go through this other one then. here as usual and yes okay we recognize this bedroom now don't we through it looks like it is good just making sure okay so I'm pretty certain bottles oh not bottles this time it's Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. That's your answer? Is it's not going anywhere, so... Yeah, that's, that's a very piss poor response for that. You should let her do it. Oh, prosthesis snatchers and sexual bastards. Why the damn they can't afford a new one? Hmm. Okay. Okay, miss that. How about over here? Really? No? Alright, well, we have to do what we know we need to do here. Stumbling here and there, stumbling everywhere, and I must declare. 
I stepped right on her toes, and when she bumped my nose, I fell, and when I rose, I fell to shame. Dumpling all around, dumpling all around, dumpling all around. Okay. Okay, so we wanted it to go the other direction, actually. All right. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Because you're an idiot? Okay, now we can leave. And guess where we will find ourselves? I think you can imagine. Oh, this is exactly the same. Okay. But this isn't. Form emerges. Does it now? It seems like this you're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and now the there you are, locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. Yeah, this is okay. We don't need to see that, I don't think. Of course, the rain coming through nicely there. Stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. That's all, folks. I think we've already looked at all these before, and they're not a... And, oh, now it says, hey, even now lost loan, you deserve it. A grave for you, finish it. Okay. Well, okie dokie, let's go ahead and end this chapter. Yes. This chapter is done. Can we get ew, something even worse there? Yep, and it's that has been added. Yep, okay. Good deal. And there is no save game. All right, uh, that's good. I'm gonna let the this uh, go on, go go. This uh, stream and recording continue to the next hour. But I do, do want to note that we are now in hour 
21 of our 24-hour marathon of gaming for Extra Life 2020. Please, if you can, I humbly beg that you take just a few minutes of your time and donate at least just one dollar maybe please i mean we've already met our goal as you can see up there but you know it'd be great if we could you know go even further than that and see if we can reach a new record because i believe our record was 200 even or so like two or three years ago love to be able to go beyond that this year if at all possible so please consider doing so if you can't afford money though uh, a donation that's great too just donate some time to my stream watch me and play uh, not play but watch me play a few games and say hi we'll chat we'll talk about the game we'll talk about politics we'll talk about donating to extra life whatever you want to talk about I don't care I'm there for it um that's all. Just wanted to mention that before I continue into chapter three. Of this. Layers O Fear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to go to uh, chapter three, actually. There it is, chapter three. Starting with a walkthrough. All right. Let's continue. Because why not, right? We like torturing ourselves. That's what we do. Oh, yes. Hey, we're in the... The Junction. As always, gotta make sure we check everything. It's a big box of matchsticks. Okay, it was the reflection there. Nope, not a there. I think that was the window. Base off of there and broke it and all that. All right. Rodent seeds. I see the dirt move. Rotten soil. Nothing else grows. Okay. Sure thing. Okie dokie. Yep, jump scare attack. Because, you know, th that's this game. This game likes to give you jump scare attacks. That's what it does. what it loves to do. It wouldn't be layers of fear unless there were jump scare attacks, right? Oh, here we go. Uh, about a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up at a small cabin where it turns out this is 
all been a product of his subconscious brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory he killed the guy who had murdered his father in the real world he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time get it this the, the twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Caldwell. Okay. Well, we can only go through here. And of course that happens. Because of course it does. And you know, it's been a, a minute since we've had a jump scare attack. So why don't we have a jump scare attack, shall we? Is that all right with you? Sure. Yeah, not exactly what I was expecting, but still, it's definitely a jump scare attack. Okay. Still freaky and all that. Oh, that's interesting. So, we, we didn't... Ah, uh, there we go. Haunting mimics. Knock, knock, knock. Not gonna let them in. Only... Clothes left behind. Okay. block, I guess. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go as well. Ah. Okay. Awfully creepy again. Why can I not? There we go. Close the dang door. All right, well, we got a key. At least we got a key. Some OSHA violations here, you're saying. Yeah, this, this just isn't hidden good. Oh, and we're in that room. Okay. Don't forget. So something about six nine uh, is important here. And we can't open up. Open up that one. But any other doors we cannot open up. Okay. There we've opened up the trunk. 
Here we are. Uh, May 23rd. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, that pathetic, hurtful look, a combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. I have come to realize that I have become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Don't think that's the fantasy he has in mind, my dear. All right. Uh, you know what? It's been a minute since we've had a, uh... Oh, wait, there's something else in here? Maybe that was the memento. It just didn't look like it. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is... Okay, that is it. All right, good. All right, it's been a minute since we had a jump scare attack. So, there. Enjoy. Alright, let's go to the junction. Okay. Because we must always be at the junction. Okay, that's stuff there. Oh. Again, I have to check this even though we've checked it twice already. The contents do change every time. And there may be actually a, uh, you know, a letter or something else in here that doesn't seem significant at the time, but it turns out it is, etc. Let's not go there. And these are just a bunch of books. I do believe we want to go forward here. Anything in the clothes this time? No. Okay. Fine. And hello, DV2890. Yep. Uh, three and a half hours to go is correct. Who knows? I might even finish this game within that amount of time. Especially since I'm following a walkthrough, after all. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy the creepiness of this game and the jump scares and all that. Great Ugly. Stuff. Ugly. You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking plant. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face! Also, typically, that shorthand word is not pleb, or not pronounced pleb, but plebe. Since, isn't it short for plebeian? I don't know. What do I know, right? But yeah, yeah, we're doing Actually, I'm probably going to play an additional hour, maybe two. And the reason why is because I had to take so many breaks uh, earlier. In fact, I'm probably going to take another break um, around noon, I guess, uh, in order to have some breakfast. Um, because I took so many breaks, I didn't actually play during those 24 hours, so it wasn't really quite a 24-hour marathon of gaming. Unless I go overtime, so I I tend to go overtime by at least a couple hours, and I know that's I'm doing more than I should, but yeah, that's what I want to do. I just I would feel like I'm somehow cheating the system a little bit if I didn't do that. So you know, yeah. All right, uh, let's see.
Moving on. And of course the door locks behind. There's that. Some stairs there. Locked door. Apparently we're supposed to remember the fact there's a locked door here. Oh, and there's a key there, apparently, as well. Huh. Maybe we ought to remember that, too. Is this going to be one of those weird... Probably. <laughs> Non-Euclidean space things. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe this is actually kind of normal. Because, yeah, see, we're actually down here where we should be? Question mark? Ought to be. Oh, here. What's this? Oh, nothing we can read. What about that? That looks like it would be one of those rat uh, things, but no, I guess it's not. It's not. We know where the key is, since we st saw, saw it up there. Um, That doesn't reset something. Anything here. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I think this is maybe the only way we can get at a specific secret in the game. You know? I don't know. There we go. So now we want to go back to that locked door, I presume. Ow! Ooh. My butt is molding to the chair. That's not a good thing. The chair's supposed to mold to you, but yeah. Here we are. Yeah, okay. So now we can go come back up here and get the next memento. With our slow peg leg. I don't think I ever went in here before in my previous playthrough of this game. What on earth is... Don't quite... can't quite make out exactly what's supposed to have happened there or whatever. But that's probably for the best. All right, now we go down here. And yep, walks behind. Oh, ouch. That's a very loud phone. Uh, oh, here we go. Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter. And while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to, refer to us, what you refer to as a freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mentioned, mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, 
You have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Sincerely, Robert Richards, MD. And he wrote another fucking quack at the bottom of it. Alright, that was awful trying to get the ring to skip sight. Okay, we just saw that happen. I think this just continues on. Yeah, I think it does. Let's go back. I mean, is this just going to continue on doing this? Oh, I guess we have to get to... Alright, we need to go back and pick up the receiver after it falls, right? Which I don't know when that's going to happen exactly. I guess that would be around here. Or not. I didn't quite get that. Okay, you know what? Um, I think we missed something there. Because I didn't pick up the handle when I was supposed to. Um, did, will this put us at the beginning of the... Yes, it does. Oh, darn it. We're going to have to run through all that again. Because, well, you can't really save... Oh, okay, no. You don't have to go through all of it again. Good. That's actually quite interesting. Okay, I need to... See, I need it to fall down in front of me. It's not doing that. I think this is what we do. Um, until you see small, to your left side, I know we took this. Go back to the game to explain our change. Okay, that's what we needed to do. Then come back here. Drops. Now. Yes. Yes. What? What? What fire? Fire. Oh, God. Is she. Which hospital? Which hospital? I I'm on my way. Uh huh. All right. There we go. Now we got that. And you know what we haven't experienced in a little bit? A jump scare. 
Shall we have one? Sure, let's have one. This is memories, we're locked in here. Is it the next door actually? Ah, this one. Here's where we get it. Okay. That's nice. The room is upside down. Or we're upside down. Is there a red swipe light switch? There it is. Oh, there's the thing. Oh, also, some stuff. Bunch of bottles. Okay. Nothing else in here. Flapping, horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats, question mark. Don't know. I mean, bats are not rats, so don't confuse the two, please. Right? <clears throat> Alright, um... Ready for another jump scare? Rama up down. Oh, wow. We're somewhere. Let's put it that way. And lock behind. And here we go. Let's have another elevator ride. Because, you know, those are always just so grand. Right? Oh, this time I guess we're going to go down instead of up. All right. I guess we could have gone up, but no, we're gonna go down. Another trunk. <laughs> right. I feel you there. Abandon hope while you can. Uh, in any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, don't do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this. Believe it or not, I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this. Just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while. Let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning, a momentary lapse of reason, an overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option. Considering what you've been through lately, I'd say we have a good 50-50 chance of a good outcome. But not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more outbursts, no more rambling. Better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your... Uh, and that's the end of that. 
Which, by the way, uh, clearly uh, someone didn't quite get this correct here because uh, that either is meant to have been f finished by saying daughter there, T E R, or there should have been a hyphen there, maybe theoretically, but n neither has appeared, and there's just this blank space here. So someone in the art department should have, have let that tear go a little bit closer to the H. Practically cutting off a, just a tip of the H there or something. But that didn't happen. So, oh well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> There's a pallet blocking the way. Oh, okay. Glass bottles all over the floor. I mean, if you call that a pallet blocking the way, I call it uh, the wall. A wall that's been majorly falling apart, but still a wall nevertheless. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll close it. Anything down here? No, nothing. All right, good. Let me continue, ugh. Let's get some more light in here. Again with this, what looks like black acre here. I know it's probably supposed to represent water, but certainly doesn't look like it. All right. Here's the spot. Okay, yeah, there definitely is a pallet blocking our way. But we need to stop in here first. And the door closes behind us. Oh! Grand. Silent floaters, they clog the drains, fur in the water, no baths for me. What's that sound? The doll dissolving, I guess, or something? I don't know, I don't want to know. Anything else in here? We can't really do much at all. Okay, we already moved the pallet. Very good. So evidently, we're supposed to ignore all of the doors. What about light switches? Guess that doesn't matter. Oh, we got locks too. Except for like the last door on the right, right? Wait, you said the last door on the right. And I 
and so you ignore all the doors until you reach the final door on the right. Oh, okay, that's why. Yep, body borrowers beating on me, driving me insane, too fast to cut out. All right, um, now I'm curious. Oh, light's good to have. Now I'm curious, what's in the other doors? Instant death? Doesn't, no, if that was the case, there would be warnings. Who knows, maybe it is. Well, no, there's just nothing here. Well, maybe I want to see what's in these other rooms. Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Let me explore. Well, can't even get in that one. Oops. Slam. That one's just completely locked and there's no deadbolt for me here either. Okay, fine. What else? Mm. All right. Oh, okay. That's the one we want. Yeah, that's a brick. That's a brick. That's a brick. So yeah, what we want is the one with candles. When we just came through, as a matter of fact. Of course, the door is locked. And through another door. Oh, turn on that light switch. Oh boy, you know where this leads, right? Yeah. Wish I could save the game. But I can't. And so here we are. So there's a candle on the far side of there. Wow, that bass is pretty intense here. I don't know if anyone else can hear that, but wow. That's something. That is super deep bass. Oh, hello, yep, this is what I was meant to find. Patient, thirsty, dangling dread, furry, leeches, afraid to look up. Yep, I've looked up and, ah! Okay, yeah. That happens when you look up. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, we're almost done with this chapter. Good. So here we are, the piano in that spooky ass clock. I guess we can't uh, open that up. Yeah, it's facing the wall.
I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's lovely, uh, soft music. Oh, mm, oh nice. Everything just floats as we walk to the bottom of the stairs. So I guess you got about a minute, about 60 seconds for this music to play out and for you to just get over here. Why would you need to come over here anyway? Why not just stay in the room with the piano, right? Maybe it would kill you if you did, I don't know. All right, what'd you do this time? I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw, boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Yeah, sure it did. Okay, now we can leave. I don't think we need to explore any more of the, this uh, uh, area down here, <laughs> the uh, basement. And that will end chapter two. It's probably a good time. Yep, here we are. I don't think there's anything else for us to pick up or deal with. No, not not so much, not really. Yep, those are filling up nicely and so forth. Things are changing here. All right. Let's just go ahead and do it. Oh, wow. That's really freaky. And yep, there's our next item. Bone, we got three more chapters to go. Well, I, what if you fail? I don't know, what if I do? All right, uh, I think that was a great time for me to pause. To like I use the restroom, restart the recording, etc., etc., etc. So please, thank you. Not please, but thank you. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all the great stuff. Uh, please follow me if you are so inclined at Twitch.tv/Sternby, and on Twitter at Sternby, and on Instagram Stern. I stream every Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Pacific, 0200 UTC, and every Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 1900 UTC. Please consider donating a little something something to Extra Life in support of Kentucky Children's Hospital, which is part of the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Uh, the link is in the description below this video. Please consider doing so if you have the wherewithal. If you even just one dollar, totally fine. Goes much further than you may think. But even if you can't afford that, that's awesome too. Please just donate a minute or two of your time to stop by my stream and say hi and chit chat with me while I play some games. 
Um, that is, that'll do, do it for this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video, the continuation of this marathon. So uh, until then, thank you, take care, and stay safe.